Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing well. So today we are going to unbox this mini tripod. If you can guess what you are going to unbox after the mini tripod, please write about it in the comments below. If you can guess it right, I will give you a heart. And thanks for watching all my videos. If you can, please share these videos and subscribe to this channel. It will be very useful and very helpful for me. And please like this video if you liked it. And as I always say, enjoy and have a nice day. Thanks guys. Thanks. So this is the Photo Pro tripod and it comes in this blue box. You can pause the video and check all the information that I'm showing you on the sides of the box. It's a small tabletop tripod but you can carry it. It is a travel tripod. Small, handy, whenever you need for some stabilization when you're using a long lens without uh, any image stabilization. It is also handy for macro photography. So it comes in this small black pouch and the pouch quality is very good. It has got this nice belt so you can sling it around your shoulders. Also you can adjust it and these two small things are also there provided so you can hang it from your backpack. So after you open this zip which is a nice quality zip. Uh, inside you find uh, a manual, a user guide. Then you get this spanner. With this spanner you can tighten the screws uh, or the bolts on the tripod itself. And then this is the tripod. There's nothing else inside the pouch. It's a very tiny tripod you can see. Very easy to carry but it's heavy. I have other full length tripods which I am using currently but those are all made of plastic and this one is completely made of metal. The DSLR cameras have the shutter and the mirror which flips up and down and there is a lot of vibration and that can shake your image when you are taking the photograph. So a plastic tripod always shakes when you take that shot and you don't get the sharpest image. So a heavy tripod is always more useful. This tripod has three bubble levels. One is on the screw that tightens the quick release plate and the other two are on the uh, bracket which holds the quick release plate for the camera. So this is the way you open the legs of this tripod and it has got three locks. So you can put it in three different positions. So this is your normal tripod position. The tripod has a ball and socket joint which is very useful, very handy because you can mount the camera at whatever angle you want uh, and there is no limitation to how you can mount the camera. Just tighten the bolt on the side and it locks in place. There are degree markings on the base of the mount so that if you are taking a time lapse or if you are taking a panorama you can actually see, you can measure how much you have moved the camera or rotated in the horizontal space. It is also handy if you have removed the camera and you have forgotten at what degrees you had placed it unless you have moved the tripod also. So you remove this locking and the plate comes out and then there is a screw which helps you to mount it on the camera's bottom. It has also this nice rubberized paddings, four of them, which hold the camera in place because normally what happens is when you mount the camera on a plate and the plate is having no rubber on it, then the camera rotates even if you try to secure it firmly with the screw. So you put the plate and it's all metal. So just lock it up and the camera is not going to move anywhere. So you can move the ball and socket in this direction. It's a very nice form. I like it very much. So uh, this tripod can take a weight of 17 kgs. So that is a lot. Uh, normally I don't think we will exceed the camera weight more than uh, 7 kgs with the lens. That should not exceed 7 kgs but you can mount something heavy on it like a video camera also on it. So now this small neck it has got and it is also adjustable. With the screw you can tighten it. Just unlock it and it moves. And th there is a way you can uh, completely remove it but for that 
there is a small uh, screw at the bottom which you have to remove it has got a threading so with the threading you can remove it why do you need that so that you can mount the camera upside down whenever you require it so i'll demonstrate that to you just remove this uh, from the back the screw is bigger than the hole so the camera is secure it's not going to fall off from the bottom Now you can secure it with that screw so it also holds it in position. Now you can just unlock the foot of the three legs and they have locking three stages. You can unlock it how much you want. You don't need to completely open it every time. You can just there are three different positions and you can actually feel it uh, when you are uh, opening the tripod. Now that there is a lot of space between the camera and the floor, now you can actually place the camera upside down. This is useful when you are taking some product photography or you are taking some macro shots and you want to go very close to the subject with your camera and uh, you don't want to mount it uh, on top of the tripod because any tripod has some kind of a height, right? So you can get it as close to the subject as possible by mounting it upside down. So secure it this with the screw and then you can tighten the bolt on the bottom but never forget this because that small screw is extremely important if you are uh, mounting it uh, upside down for normal mounting it's not a problem very nice feature i like it very much this is the lock if you release it and then you can uh, change the angle of the legs you can have three positions of the legs so whatever is preferable for you sometimes what happens is when you're mounting the tripod on a rock and the third leg you has to be supported from a rock which is at a different angle so then you have to have uh, legs uh, locking in a different angle every time so it helps mounting the camera in position safely so you just unlock it and lock it so each position can be unlocked and locked individually just do it clockwise and anti clockwise you will figure it out once you have it in your hand it's very easy you can lock every position as per your requirement you can also hold the position the section you want to keep and then also you can lock it that's another way of doing it it's very easy and very handy and very useful so you don't have to play with lots of locks this is the size of this tripod now you can see this is a normal victorinox knife a normal standard size knife this is not a big one or a small one and the tripod is barely as the size of the knife so very travel friendly only it has got a lot of weight i mean it is heavy as a dslr camera it is maybe even little bit more but that is good thing i like the weight of this tripod because it is giving me confirmation that it is secure my camera is going to be secure on it when i mount it on it just unlock it and you are ready to go this little feature is very important this doesn't move but you can put some weight on it so when you are open the tripod you can put a weight on it like 
टू के जीज थ्री के जीज बैग्स सो दैट इफ यू आर कीपिंग द कैमरा फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम फॉर सम लॉन्ग एक्सपोजर्स और फॉर सम नाइट फोटोग्राफी और एनी काइंड ऑफ टाइम लैप्स यू डोंट वॉन्ट द ट्राई पॉट टू मूव इन द विंड इफ देर इज अ विंडी सिचुएशन देन द वेट विल सिक्योर द ट्राई पॉट इन पोजिशन सो यू कैन गेट द बैग्स फॉर द वेट and now you can actually see the size of this tripod it's so small now the open blade is even longer than the tripod itself so this is all that you get inside the bag and i'm very very happy with this tripod and stay tuned for what i'm going to unbox next because it's going to be very interesting and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and please hit the like button if you like this video and as always guys enjoy and have a nice day